The Crane Wife is about a man called George Duncan, who one night is awoken by this incredible emotional sound. And he discovers that it, what it is is an injured crane, a really tall bird in his backyard who has been shot through with an arrow. And it's, it seems absurd, it seems impossible that this has happened in his back garden. And his instinct, his immediate instinct, is to try and help. And he doesn't know how he's going to help, but he is finally able to help the crane, and the crane flies away. And as in the crane wife myth, which also opens with a man rescuing an injured crane, uh, a, a woman comes into his life. Um, the stories diverge a little there, and they, you know, they take their take his modern path. But he meets he meets a woman, and who's also kind and also decent, and um, she starts to tell him interesting stories. To me, George is uh, as an interesting. It's what I find interesting about humans is they he's the. He's a decent guy, he's a good person, and I think most of us are. Uh, but to me, what's interesting about him is that uh, he has to, like most of us, I think, choose to be good, and that's interesting. I don't think most of us are sort of naturally good or naturally evil. I think we're naturally neutral, we try to do our best, and that choice, that attempt, is what interests me, and I think there's a whole world of tension and feeling in that, and, and so George trying to do the right thing is really, really interesting to me. It's always a challenge to balance a realistic story with some magical elements or some mythological elements. Of course, the question is always open in the book. Are they really magical? Are they really mythological? There's always an explanation for everything, and I like that to be in the book. But I don't, I don't actually think it's that difficult to balance it in a story. And I, I, I like stories that take that extra step outside of reality, because what, what is a book? A book is just a world made of words, and in a world made of words, you can do absolutely anything. So any rule can be broken, any, any reality can be established, and that's what I like about them the most. And so I don't actually ever think of it as any balance, you know, balance needed. I just, I think, well, what, what are the best tools to tell this story, and what, where can I go? And, and, and if, that, if the answer to that is, well, we can go to the moon, and we can go outside of what's normal and what's real, as long as it makes sense and is true, that's the only real question for me. So no, I, don't, I don't actually see that split between real and magical.